Dan Plasma, full contact fighter, here with the legend, Tito Ortiz. Full contact fighter. Hmm. Joe Gold. You know what? He still gives me smack for calling people legends, but you definitely deserve the title. One of the greatest fighters of all time. Great ground and pound. Just a legend in the sport. How does it feel to still be in it? Uh, really good. My mind's right. My body's right. Timing's been great in training. Actually uh, helping Kendall Grove, getting ready for his title fight against uh, Halsey. Um, and he's doing the work he needs to do to win the fight. You know, I think that'll be an amazing fight. But at the same time, I'm getting ready to possibly be fighting for a world title. You know, Liam McGarry uh, is a replica of what Kendall Grove is. The height, thin size, length, jiu-jitsu, stand-up. Uh, so I'm preparing before the fight even is even announced. So um, I know, I'm excited. It's nice to have a clear mind. My body's healthy. Injuries are gone finally. You know, it's great having a great surgeon and uh, working hard and staying positive and uh, having a great family. Home is perfect. Uh, you know, I'm happy. It's nice to be happy. Kendall is such a master on his back. You know, he's been doing jiu-jitsu for over a decade. Are you tweaking out some of the wrestling stuff? Uh, we're tweaking a lot of wrestling stuff, a lot of stand-up stuff, a lot of takedown defense, a lot of the ground stuff. Uh, things to finish people. Um, he's going to finish with his hands, going to finish them on the ground. But cardio will be a big factor in this fight, and uh, he got to push the tempo, and we understand that he's going he's gonna to have to uh, weather the storm for the first round or two. Um, Kendall's has, put, has been putting in the work, and you know he'll be ready for the fight in general. Chuck, Randy, so many of your contemporaries have not survived through the generations, and here you are still at a championship level, still fighting. How does it feel to, to transcend so many generations and still be fighting at such a high level? It's crazy. It's like my body's like I'm getting rebirth every single 10 years, it seems like now. You know, I'm going on 17 years, May 30th, 1997, when I had my debut with uh, Randy Couture, who had his debut, and um, I'm still competing. It's kind of funny, we did a charity event uh, for Make-A-Wish Foundation. Actually, it was... Uh, um, yeah, Make Wish Foundation, and we're out, and some girl's like, uh, Tito, can I take a picture with you? Know, yeah, of course. Like, can I take a picture with your dad, too? And it was Randy Couture, and it just made me laugh so hard, it was funny. But uh, so from this point out on, Randy Couture is uh, my uh, stepfather. Awesome. Now, I know Kendall's over with uh, ha Master Rafael Cordero over at uh, King's MMA. Where are you doing your camps these days? Um, I'm with Rafael myself. Uh, we go over to Rain at Force at Punishment Training Center with myself. Uh, a few other wrestlers we're working in. Um, you know, Biz being, I mean, over at Rain, there's so many tough guys over there to work with. Um, you know, I know Pat Cummings has his fight coming up next week. He's another stud, too. It's just there's a group of really, really good guys that are working with, and uh, I'm thankful that they give me an opportunity to train with these guys. Um, they're some of the best and upcoming fighters themselves. Awesome, man. It is such an honor. Cannot wait to see you in the cage again. Yeah, I, I can't wait either. So, August for the title. Sounds good to me. Millions of fans think it doesn't sound good to them. McGarry, I'm coming for your title. 100%.